The University of Minnesota has really invested in bioremediation research through the MinDrive initiative. And bioremediation is just simply the process by which microorganisms are used to clean up a polluted environment. And, you know, one of the exciting things is that they've been bringing in scientists who have all these different expertise surrounding the different subdisciplines that will be important for thinking about bioremediation strategies, developing entirely new strategies for cleaning up old pollutants or new pollutants that are coming out as priorities in the environment. So the course I'm teaching with uh, Jake Bailey, who's another professor in earth science, is called Geomicrobiology. And this is a class for upper level undergraduates and graduate students to gain a better understanding of how microbes interact with the world around us. This course has made me really excited about microbiology as a possible solution to engineering problems um, because it is sustainable. You have this abundant resource that you can use to solve a variety of different problems. One of the goals of the class is to think about not only teaching the knowledge and, and giving the students the knowledge and understanding of all of these different processes, but to really think about how they can communicate this science at a variety of different levels. And so one of the activities that we're doing is giving the students a topic that they can learn a little bit more in depth but in doing this, they have to then take this to the Bell Museum, the Bell Natural History Museum here on campus, and communicate that science to a broad audience. So the project I'm presenting at the Bell Museum is actually about iron oxidation and iron springs, uh, specifically one that's on the west bank of campus. And this is a great example of how nutrients are cycled through the environment with the help of microorganisms. Just the other day, we went out to our back pond and took a sample and looked under our microscope, but coming here kind of reinforces what they're learning at home and in school. Making this complicated subject more accessible has made me more interested in it because I can, I can go home and I can tell my friends about it in a more accessible way. It's not an easy thing for a lot of people to do, to stand up and put themselves out there. But if we can sort of chip away at that bit by bit and give people confidence and give people the skills, I think it will benefit them throughout their careers as scientists and engineers.